Our third Santa Fe Trail video in this series will include two locations directly to the south of our previous video highlighting the Shawnee Indian Mission. Heading south along Mission Road, we will visit the Homesteader Statue and Harmon Park. For the final two locations, we will travel just a bit to the west to Metcalf Avenue and again head south towards downtown Overland Park and the Johnson County Museum. Although this next location is not an official Santa Fe Trail site, it would seem impossible to miss this 12-foot statue and the implications of its meaning while traveling south on Mission Road towards Harmon Park. In 1951, Prairie Village invited local art students to submit models of a sculpture to be erected at the new Prairie Village Shopping Center. Annabelle Campbell, a student at Kansas City Art Institute, was chosen as the winner. Her design, incorporating elements of family, nourishing soil, and a wagon wheel, was created to represent the American Westward Movement. Directly to the east at the intersection of Tomahawk Road and Mission Road, we discovered a hidden gem. This bridge overlooking Brush Creek was a wonderful spot amid a bustling intersection to enjoy a bit of scenic beauty and local wildlife. The entrance to Harmon Park is located directly west of Mission Road, but can easily be spotted by the water tower directly next to the parking lot, which is visible from any direction. Along the entrance walkway are markers designating this four acre park as an official Santa Fe Trail location. In front of this welcoming shelter is a wonderful map which includes the Shawnee Indian Mission and Harmon Park to the east. And to the west, this map features locations that will be shown in upcoming videos including Lone Elm Campground, Santa Fe and Oregon Trails Junction, and Lanesfield School. This shady and scenic location features an interpretive panel which looks out onto a visible swell carved deep into the landscape. Still visible more than a century later, this swell was created as thousands of travelers with their wagons, heavily filled with goods and provisions, traversed en route to the west. For a more in-depth Santa Fe Trail experience, we recommend taking a look at an actual Conestoga wagon on display at the Alexander Majors House Museum. We also recommend viewing the stagecoach and chuck wagon featured at the Mahaffey Stagecoach Stop and Farm Historic Site.
For the next two locations, we headed just a bit to the west and began heading south on Metcalf Avenue in Overland Park, Kansas. Just three blocks west of 80th and Metcalf Avenue, we found another Santa Fe Trail location. This spot is located in the heart of historic downtown Overland Park. The two ways west from Westport panel was particularly helpful in understanding why there are so many trail locations in this area and clearly shows the two separate routes of the Santa Fe Trail crossing the land. As commerce and travel increased on the trail, so too did the amount of space required to support the wagon trains. There was a need not only for additional trail space, but also for larger grazing space to feed the oxen and horses as they consumed the grasslands in vast amounts. This stop is also a great place to explore the downtown Overland Park shopping district with unique shopping and dining experiences to welcome any modern day traveler. For the final Santa Fe Trail stop in this video, we traveled further south along Metcalf Avenue to the Johnson County Museum, which is located inside of the Johnson County Arts and Heritage Center. If you have watched the other videos in this series, you know that one of our favorite things is to discover timelines that help to enlighten your journey to the past. And here, inside of the Johnson County Museum, is an actual timeline that you can walk. It's easy to physically step from decade to decade while learning of the individuals whose lives played key roles in the rapid changes to this part of the country. You may recognize several names mentioned in the first two videos of the Santa Fe Trail series, including Thomas Johnson and Alexander Majors. This magnificent museum holds a vast wealth of historical information that we will revisit in many upcoming travel series in the future, including series on Bleeding Kansas and the Civil War. But we strongly encourage you to visit this astonishing location and take the time to discover its many wonders for yourself. Midwest Mini Adventures thanks you for joining us yet again on our third adventure of the Santa Fe Trail series. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for notifications of upcoming videos.